Let's take a look at some transformations of linear functions. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what's changed to go from f of x to g of x. And we're going to see three different types of transformations. So without further ado, let's just dig in and start graphing these to see what we get. So this first one, what we're going to do is start by graphing f of x and f of x is just equal to x and remember slope intercept form we use y equals mx plus b okay to be able to graph that so as we look at this there's no b so plus zero would be sitting out there so we're gonna start for that one at the point right there zero zero at the origin zero on the y-axis alright then I look for the slope. Remember the slope is the number, the coefficient of the x term. So right in this case we have a 1 for our slope. So I would go, remember slope is rise over run, rise over run to do this graphing. And the slope of 1, 1 as a fraction would be 1 over 1. So we go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. And if we want some points going this direction, I could go down 1 over 1 like so. So I do that several times and then I can sketch a graph. So let me just switch here to my line tool and we'll sketch a graph that goes through all those points like so. Something like that. Okay. So there's my graph of f of x right there. Now, I want to graph g of x. So, what I'm going to do is, again, start at my b, the y-intercept. And in this case, the y-intercept is 5. So, I'm going to go up here, and let me change colors here. So, I'm going to go up here to 5 on the y-axis. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right there's my first point. Then, I look at the slope. Notice, the slope is the same. So my slope being 1 again, I'm going to go up 1 over 1 to there, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and I could also go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, as many times as you want, get all those points there, and then we can connect the dots. So let's go ahead and do that. Now as I do this, take a look at what you're seeing in the two lines. What was the difference between the two? Well if we look the slope is the same notice that the two lines are parallel to each other but the difference is where we started we started at this one at 0 and on this one we started at 5 so what we find is that to get from f of x to g of x we just went up 5 okay and that change is represented right there in that change of the y-intercept. So for this one, what happened? We went up 5. Okay? Alright, let's get this uh, graph cleared out of here and see if we can't take a look at this next one. So for this next one, what we have going on is two equations again, and I'm just going to start graphing. I'm going to switch back to my pinkish color here for the first one. So for this one, I'm going to start graphing at the y-intercept and in this case the y-intercept is negative 5 so let's go there so 1 2 3 4 5 starting right there at that y-intercept then I use the slope to get additional points notice here's my slope right in front of the x right there so I go rise 1 and I run 2 and it's a positive so I go to the left or to the right excuse me up 1 over 2 and I could go down 1 over 2 down 1 over 2 down 1 over 2 as many times as you'd like get all those points in there then again we'll grab our line tool here and sketch in what that's gonna look like now for the second one in this example what we're gonna do is again start at the y-intercept and the y-intercept, hey, wait a minute, it's 5 as well. So, when we start there 
at the y-intercept and uh, again I'm going to change colors here let's go to a blue okay we start at the y-intercept of negative 5 and then my slope oh, my slope in this case is 3 over 4 so I'm going to go up 3 1 2 3 over 1 2 3 4 there's my next point up 3 1 2 3 over 4 1 2 3 4 like so, and again I could go down 3, so down 1, 2, 3, over to the left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, like so, and I could do it again if I like, and that would get me another point down here, okay? So again, grab my line tool, we'll connect, and let's take a look at what's happening here. In this case, what we have is that the second one the blue one is more steep than the first one the intercepts are the same but there's been a rotation if I could grab this red one and tilt it up it would turn into the blue one so what we find is that as the numbered value of the slope goes up the line gets more steep so in this case going from the one-half slope to the three-fourths slope the line became more steep and it was just rotated around that point 0 negative 5 so in this case we had a rotation around the point 0 negative 5 and it's more steep so it's rotated about the point negative 5 and it's more steep okay so changing that slope alright then let's look at this next one and for this one let me clear this out of here again for this one what we've got going on is we've got just some pretty straightforward graphing here so again we'll start and let's graph this one so we have negative 5x well my y-intercept it's going to be B, which is 0 here, so at 0. And then my slope is negative 5. Now, negative 5, that would be negative 5 over 1. So down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1 to the right, because I took care of the negative coming down. Or I could go up 5. There's 2, 3, 4, 5, like so. And then grab my line tool here, and we'll connect. That's going to connect right there and over something like that. Okay, so there's my first point. Now, another thing to be aware of, as you're graphing these lines, notice that the slope of this line in general is negative because it's going down from left to right. Do yourself a favor and do that little check as you graph these things to make sure that you've got it correct. The biggest mistake that I see students make with these is that rather than going to the left, they would go to the right, and we would end up with a line that looks something like this with a positive slope. But we see the numbered slope is negative, so my line has to look negative. All right, then. The next one, we have g of x equals x. Well, we did that one earlier, so we can do that one real quick again here. The intercept is at 0, as soon as I have the right tool. Intercept is at 0 right there. And then my slope is 1, so up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. Or I could go down 1 to the left 1. And when I do that, I get, we'll sketch that in here, like so. Okay, now. What happened? What's the difference? Well, actually two things happened here. The first thing that happened, we noticed that this line is less steep. Well, that has to do with the change in slope. If we look at this first one, we had a slope of negative 5. So that negative 5 being the slope, what we find is that's pretty steep, Okay, as we see in our picture there. But in this other one, we have the slope being 1. Now, that gives us this line. So not as steep. So it's less steep. 
and also notice that the line has a positive slope here and this one has a negative slope and we call that a reflection this line to get to this one the slope is changed from negative 5 to 1 so it's less steep and it's reflected across the y-axis because of the negative right there if we were to graph let's just for the fun of it here throw a 5 in here so if we were to graph 5x let me grab another color to do that if we graph g of x equals 5x let's see what happens so the slope would be 5 so we'd go up 5 over 1 up 5 over 1 and so on then what we would find is let me get that in there okay what we would find is that let me get this in the right spot we see very clearly that reflection that happened to get from one to the other okay everything that was on this side of the y-axis is now on the opposite side so we can see that reflection very clearly alright then this last one again we've graphed this one a couple times already so let me just clear this out of here and we'll look at graphing that so that's f of x equals x remember to do that we'll just use the slope of, of 1 starting with that y-intercept of 0 so making our points here don't forget the intercept there's all those points we'll grab our line tool and we'll make that line coming through here something like that okay so there's that line the first one then we graph this one now for this one we're going to graph well we start at negative two so that's my y-intercept so let's go there to negative two and that first point and then from there we're going to use a slope of four so negative two slope of four so that means up four over one up four one two three four over one okay and then we go down four over one something like that and then we can sketch our line now let's compare and see what happened here to get from one to the other well first thing that happened was the intercept was changed so in this case the intercept went from being zero that was zero to being negative two so it was moved down two just based on this intercept changing right here okay so that takes us down two then we also take a look at the slope notice the slope here was one it changed to four so it's rotated as well and it's more steep because the slope was changed from one to four and made it more steep okay so transformations of linear functions some basic transformations here first thing that we can be aware of is changing the y-intercept and what that will do for us is it will make the line just move up or down slope stays the same in our second one we saw that the um, the slope was changed so that one's right here and what that did is it rotated about that y-intercept point so the y-intercept stayed the same but the slope changed to make it in this case more steep it could become more flat as well then we saw in the third one how we have the lines and we actually sketched an extra one in there remember this was the pink one and this one the g of x equals x was the green one and we saw a change of both a reflection because it flipped it across the y-axis and also the slope changed then finally in our last example there we saw the two things change the y-intercept changed it moved down that negative two and the slope changed going from one to four which made it more steep Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.